Today, Governor Kim Reynolds signed into law new limits on how much money you could receive in cases of medical malpractice. Medical providers have pushed for years for the change and say unfairly large jury awards in the past hurt the state's ability to have enough health care providers. Political director Dave Price joins us with just what all of this means. Dave. Aaron, if a hospital or clinic makes a serious medical mistake, you can still sue under this new law. This new law impacts the rare cases when somebody suffers a permanent loss or impairment of a bodily function, disfigurement, loss of pregnancy, or death. The law still allows you to sue for things like medical bills and lost wages, but it places caps on how much money you can sue for issues like pain or suffering or emotional distress. So that provision then could eliminate a jury awarding tens of millions of dollars in the most egregious cases. The governor signed the changes into law this afternoon. There it is. Doctors, other medical professionals, and legislators surrounded the governor as she signed that new law today. The changes limit the non-economic damage payments to people in these serious medical malpractice cases to $1 million in lawsuits against clinics or individual doctors and $2 million in cases against hospitals. One hospital leader says the changes could help the state increase the number of health providers. We simply do not have enough, and, this, and the need far exceeds the supply. To recruit the best and brightest, to keep these providers in Iowa, we need to have a stable practice environment. This bill is a crucial step forward in helping Iowa to be a more attractive place to practice medicine, a place for folks to move their families, and to be a part of this great state. Now, this was no sure thing here. Republicans hold nearly two-thirds of the seats in the legislature right now. About one in five of them voted against this plan. So that's very unusual, by the way, things have gone this, legislature, this legislative session. The ones against it say they do not feel like it is the legislature's place to decide these limits. They believe the courts are better suited to decide. Now, this law goes into effect immediately. Okay, interesting. Thanks, Dave.